Proverbs 3 verses 11 to 12, My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke because the Lord disciplines those he loves, as a father the son he delights in. Proverbs 12 verse 1, Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but whoever hates correction is stupid. Proverbs 13 verse 24, Whoever spares the rod hates their children, but the one who loves their children is careful to discipline them. Proverbs 15 verse 5, A fool spurns a parent's discipline, but whoever heeds correction shows prudence. Proverbs 15 verse 10, Stern discipline awaits anyone who leaves the path, the one who hates correction will die. Proverbs 15 verse 32, Those who disregard discipline despise themselves, but the one who heeds correction gains understanding. Proverbs 16 verse 22, Prudence is a fountain of life to the prudent, but folly brings punishment to fools. Proverbs 19 verse 18, Discipline your children, for in that there is hope, do not be a willing party to their death. Proverbs 22 verse 6, Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old they will not turn from it. Proverbs 22 verse 15, Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far away. Proverbs 23 verses 13 to 14, Do not withhold discipline from a child, if you punish them with the rod, they will not die. Punish them with the rod and save them from death. Proverbs 29 verse 15, A rod and a reprimand impart wisdom, but a child left undisciplined disgraces its mother. Proverbs 29 verse 17, Discipline your children, and they will give you peace, they will bring you the delights you desire. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 5, It is better to heed the rebuke of a wise person than to listen to the song of fools. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 27, No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 32, Nevertheless, when we are judged in this way by the Lord, we are being disciplined so that we will not be finally condemned with the world. Hebrews 12 verses 5 to 6, and have you completely forgotten this word of encouragement that addresses you as a father addresses his son? It says, My son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline, and do not lose heart when he rebukes you because the Lord disciplines the one he loves, and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son. Hebrews 12 verse 7, Endure hardship as discipline, God is treating you as his children. For what children are not disciplined by their father? Hebrews 12 verse 9, Moreover, we have all had human fathers who disciplined us and we respected them for it. How much more should we submit to the Father of spirits and live? Hebrews 12 verse 10, They disciplined us for a little while as they thought best, but God disciplines us for our good, in order that we may share in his holiness. Hebrews 12 verse 11, No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Revelation 3 verse 19, Those whom I love I rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, For the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Psalm 94 verse 12, Blessed is the one you discipline, Lord, the one you teach from your law. Psalm 119 verse 71, It was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. Psalm 119 verse 75, I know, Lord, that your laws are righteous, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. 
2 Samuel 7 verse 14, I will be his father, and he will be my son. When he does wrong, I will punish him with a rod wielded by men, with floggings inflicted by human hands. Job 5 verse 17, Blessed is the one whom God corrects, so do not despise the discipline of the Almighty. Job 36 verse 10, He opens their ears to instruction and commands that they turn from evil. Psalm 6 verse 1, Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Psalm 32 verses 8 to 9, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding but must be controlled by bit and bridle or they will not come to you. Psalm 50 verse 21, When you did these things and I kept silent, you thought I was exactly like you. But I now arraign you and set my accusations before you. Psalm 141 verse 5, Let a righteous man strike me, it is a kindness, let him rebuke me, it is oil for my head, let my head not refuse it. Proverbs 9 verses 7 to 9, Whoever corrects a mocker invites insults, whoever rebukes the wicked incurs abuse. Do not rebuke mockers or they will hate you, rebuke the wise and they will love you. Instruct the wise and they will be wiser still, Teach the righteous and they will add to their learning. Proverbs 15 verse 12, Mockers resent correction, so they avoid the wise. Proverbs 19 verse 20, Listen to advice and accept discipline, and at the end you will be counted among the wise. Proverbs 25 verse 12, Like an earring of gold or an ornament of fine gold is the rebuke of a wise judge to a listening ear. Proverbs 27 verse 5, Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Proverbs 27 verse 6, Wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies kisses. 1 Timothy 4 verse 7, Have nothing to do with godless myths and old wives' tales, rather, train yourself to be godly. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 25, Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. 2 Peter 1 verses 5 to 7, For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, mutual affection, and to mutual affection, love. Titus 1 verses 7 to 8, since an overseer manages God's household, he must be blameless, not overbearing, not quick-tempered, not given to drunkenness, not violent, not pursuing dishonest gain. Rather, he must be hospitable, one who loves what is good, who is self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. Titus 2 verses 11 to 12, For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15, Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. 1 Corinthians 9 verses 24 to 27, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run? but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore I do not run like someone running aimlessly, I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. 
No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Romans 8 verse 13, For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. Colossians 3 verse 5, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires and greed, which is idolatry.